Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Onos and today will be pretty quick. We're going to cover some advanced tempering. Some of you may know these things, but I thought it worth mentioning before the DLC comes out, if you're in the process of perfecting your build. If you enjoy the video guys, please do me a favor and leave me a like or comment as it really helps to keep the channel growing. The YouTube demons like it when we talk amongst ourselves. Okay, here we go. So I'll very quickly cover the basics, I'm assuming that most of you know this part but just in case. If you get a weapon or piece of armour with a white mark or orange mark shown next to an attribute, we're calling them inheritables from now on. You can raise the item's familiarity either by using it while you fight or using glue for armour or a whetstone for weapons. If you use glue or a whetstone you need 7 of those to bring your familiarity from 0 to the top. You can craft those at the blacksmith and if you're missing any of the materials you need, you can buy them from the tea house. Once you have maxed out your familiarity, you'll be able to go to the blacksmith and use the soul match option to transfer that attribute over to a piece of armour or weapon you want, assuming the stat doesn't clash with something already on there. You don't need to have maximum familiarity on the item you're transferring to, only the one that you're going to sacrifice to get the attribute you want moved over. Also, if you have a white inheritable already on your weapon or armour, you can replace this with another white inheritable if you want. You're not stuck with it on there forever, but you can only have one white inheritable per armour piece or weapon. If you have weapons or armour with spare attribute slots available, then you can use orange inheritables to add new attributes onto that piece and fill up those empty slots. Again, this will only work with max familiarity, on the item you're going to sacrifice and if the attribute does not clash with something already on the piece. Once you have transferred the orange inheritable over, it will appear on your weapon or armour as a regular attribute. You won't be able to transfer it again to something else. But what this does mean is that you can temper the new attribute. So you can use the orange inheritables even if it's not an attribute that you want so that you can fill up the empty attribute slots and give yourself more options. With me so far? If not, feel free to ask questions in the comments. The community we've got is awesome for helping each other out, even if I'm not around to answer the question immediately. Okay, so here comes the good part. I've been messing around with an old armour set to make myself a build to take into the DLC. The problem I had was that I had already filled up the slots on the armour and the weapons, and some of the attributes weren't useful for the build I wanted. I didn't want to go to the trouble of crafting a completely new armour set and burning through all my saved up orange inheritables to add all the attribute slots I wanted. But there is another way. With an orange inheritable you can overwrite other attributes. If you follow the same process you'll see that the new attribute overwrites one of the old stats when you look at that in the preview on the soul match menu. But did you know you can select which stat is overwritten? You don't have to settle for the slot that has been selected for you, as long as the new stat doesn't clash with something else, you can select which slot you want to overwrite. When you are selecting the piece to sacrifice, before you confirm the selection and go to the final preview, you can press R2 to select which slot you want to overwrite. Now if you've done this and you don't see the R2 option, then it is because the attribute you are trying to put onto the piece has clashed with something already there and you can't have both, so it will default to overwrite the attribute that clashes. I hope that makes sense. Also, you can even overwrite a white inheritable if you want, and this is something I didn't even realise myself until recently. If you keep pressing the R2 to rotate through your options, you will see that the white inheritable can also be overwritten. So if you've got the perfect item apart from having one white inheritable you've been unable to get rid of, this is the way. I hope that's all made sense and you found this useful. Please leave me a like or comment if you don't mind, sub if you're new and I'll wrap it up here. Thank you all for watching, take care, stay safe, bye bye now.